What happened? Nobody will tell me anything. They won't even let me see Will. Allison, when exactly did you get to the farm? Do you have any idea how that fire got started? Yeah, Allison. Do you know what happened? No, not really. I just saw the barn and it was burning and it just happened really fast. Will and Luke were playing inside. And Will wasn't even supposed to be there. Paul was supposed to pick him up. I guess he was late. He promised he'd be there before dark. Hell, just let her finish. Like I said, it happened really fast. But by the time the rest of us realized the boys were inside, Aaron was already carrying Luke out. And how about Will? Who got him out? Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. And as soon as Luke was safe, Aaron went back in there to get Will, and he brought out Will, and I don't know, maybe he was in there too long, but we, we couldn't wake him up. Nurse, it's Bob. How's Will? Can I see him? Uh, after we get the results of the tests. What tests, Bob? Is he still unconscious? He has a head injury. We'll know the extent of that when we get the results of the tests. Bob, you tell him I'm help. here. Make sure you help. tell him his help. dad is help. here. I just got back from Snyder Farm. The fireman said two boys were injured. Yeah. And one of them was your brother. Where were you? I, I, I couldn't get out. You, you said you were going to be Will's there. Will's 12. Pick up. He was counting on you. You know, if you just showed up, Paul, if you just kept this one promise to him, none of this would have happened. Why should I help you get my Kesnoff away from Molly? That wouldn't be particularly good for our relationship, would it? Well, having my slut of a sister work at BRO isn't really <laughs> good for it either. I think you have missed the subtle message behind the Carly Clause. Well, I think you seem to have missed my message entirely. I didn't want that vindictive little tramp at BRO, period. Okay? I don't think I could have been any clearer. Look, look, you conceded that Carly is a good, maybe great designer. And if we are the ones to give Carly her major chance, we will be anointed as visionaries from here to Milano. Just help me get Mike away from Molly. I want him available. Why? You have me. Because I have my own little caveat to bring to the table. Let's call it the Kasnoff Clause. <laughs> If you slip with Carly, you make one move with her, you not only lose Biaro, you lose me. But for Mike, the fun will have just begun. I'm here to see Molly, and I'm just ridiculously early. Oh, a smitten guy, <laughs> if ever I saw one. It shows, huh? I'm glad, I'm glad. Molly's much too young and pretty to wear widow's weeds. Uh, Jake McKinnon was a good man, by the way. Isn't it good that she's found another one? I didn't know you were so big on handing out compliments. Well, why not? I don't forget. I don't forget how very kind you were to my daughter, Lily, when she needed a friend. Mm. Is that why you did what you did? What did I do? I'm talking about the job. Mm. No, I'm not following you. The burn unit? It was an anonymous donation, and someone told me you made it, Lucinda. Hey! Sorry I'm late. Did I miss anything? I'm angrier than I've ever been in my life. You want to deal with it? Come on in. Otherwise, get the hell out. Jack, would you listen to me for what, a minute? Like, you listen to me? I told you I didn't want you working with Craig. Then Rosanna tells me that's exactly what you plan on doing. I call you about it, and you say you don't want to talk about it now. You want to talk about it later when we get home. Why later, Carly? Was Craig right there? Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, Jack! Oh. Emma's barn caught fire tonight. Luke and Will were hurt, so Hal's in the hospital. I got to stick around here until he gets back instead of being with my family. That's terrible. Jack, are the boys going to be all right? I don't know. I'll go see Emma as soon as I get off. I'll find out what's going on. Anything, actually, to keep me from going home. You don't... you don't mean that. Oh, 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 yeah, I do. See, if I go home, I don't see what's gonna stop me from packing your stuff and throwing it the hell out. So after everything we've been through, you would just throw me out? Without even giving me a chance to explain? Oh, go on. Go on, explain to me. Explain how you can be engaged to marry me. You still need to be within touching distance of Craig Montgomery. 